obviously a very emotional day for you. Uh, what does it mean to have a player like that play for your team for such a long time? Well, he's meant so much to our organization, both on and off the field. I mean, Ani, he's been our leading goal scorer for years, our all-time leading goal scorer. He's led us to four championships along with some of the other great players like Nagara and Dusaskis and Howes and so forth and so on. But off the field, he's been great. The camp program, charity events. I mean, Michael's just been, you know, just a guy that uh, every coach dreams of having. And, and, and if you have so many of them, you know, you'll be so successful. So uh, this day I wasn't looking forward to it, but I can reflect back on all the things that Michael taught me and, and the great job he's done, and, and it's been great. Um, you know, obviously a focus now is uh, on the stretch drive, trying to win that championship. And in that process, you never really focus on one player, but will it always be in the back of your mind that you want to send this one particular guy out the right way? Yeah, you know, when Mike and I talked about you know, the possibility of him going on, typical Michael King, he said, I don't want the spotlight to be on me. Uh, and, and I said, Michael, you know, you, you deserve the spotlight. And at the same time, I think all the players would kind of wrap their arms around this thing and said, let's give our captain, you know, his fifth ring before he goes out. And, and maybe that'll be a motivating factor as we go through this journey and, and to our fifth. Uh, in the 15 years that he's been here, soccer just hasn't grown in the Milwaukee community. It's exploded. Uh, how much of a part of that do you think your team and especially Michael played in that well, I think that the team, the franchise, the players, and most importantly, Michael has been a huge ingredient for the explosion. I mean, if you look at all the players, past and present, from the Milwaukee Wave, you got Louis Bennett and Marquette, you got uh, Peter Knezic running FC Milwaukee, you got uh, you know the list goes on and on and on, and all these other guys, and and they do summer camps, and and uh, you know I, I I think the Wave is is not the ex the, the, the top of the chain, food chain expert, but I think we help out so many different clubs. Um, and to have a guy like Michael be a great role model for all the players in the area, along with Todd and Greg and Troy and all the rest of the guy, I think is only a benefit. And you do other things with that. You know, you had the uh, the game yesterday for the, the practice game for grade school students. Mm. Um, how exciting is it for you to be able to do things like that? Well, I think it's wonderful. I think it's an uh, obligation and a responsibility that professional athletes have to give back to the community, especially to the younger kids, because they're the future of our city, our state, and our country. And I think uh, being a professional athlete, that's that's part of your calling, is is to give back. And a game like yesterday, a school day game, to have all these young people come out to the to the game, see sports, see how sports should be played honestly and fairly and, and hard, also to learn some other things uh, about staying away from drugs and alcohol and staying in school and all those things. I, I think is a great message uh, that the Milwaukee Wave organization and all the other sports teams in, in town do.